know she did it. She said I could. Of course, those were Hippocrates. We all know that bearers have a resilience to the ill effects of ether. But don't you find it strange that there are those who, despite being free of magic's burden, can seemingly pass through a flood without consequence? I asked our Lorsman how this could be, and he suggested that it might have something to do with bloodlines. Many of the realm's dominants are born to specific families, you see. The Rosfields, the Lesages. So there must be something in those families' blood that provides them with the potential to become vessels for icons. But what about the ones who don't awaken? Could it be that this same potential provides them with something of the same immunity? Your uncle's recent travels with you across the ether ravaged countryside would certainly say. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're... If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll... So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on... F I say we, but... It's highly likely the entire... As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going, and a scout. Preferably a good one. You bet your ass. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat and if you sense any danger at all. Inconspicuous is my middle name. The ship ain't going nowhere till you're scurvy muck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone. Don't worry. You'll be needing passage home. But if there are no questions... Let me know when you're leaving. I want to work, of course. What do you recommend? run out of pep here. Still alive, are ya? Go on, then. Come again. Oh, I'm not much bothered either way. Sound are ringing still. <laughs> so we won. Who knows? What do you want? Anything else? Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that.
Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm? There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. <sighs> then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Faster! Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Kashyyyk here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time.
over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clyde. Yeah! Peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slaver and monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do, mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we pick our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Fly, Ambrosia! <sighs> Ugh, this place reeks like a marble's arsehole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. <laughs> I must be ace glass. Thanks, girl.
What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gap! No quarter!
Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. I thought we got them all. So did I. Turned, all right. Who? Oh. <laughs> 
my thanks, kind travelers. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Arche. One by one, people went mad, minds taken by the ether, till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came, and I didn't know what to do. Parents told us when we misbehave about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad, but where did they go? They. They all left. East to the tower, to Reverie, the elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. You're thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... Vessel, Ifrit, Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the Phoenix?
by the founder. So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's gonna be then? I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. <sighs> Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry, I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> 